Hey guys, welcome to Proud Animator. In this video, we are going to learn how to animate fireworks in After Effects without using any external plugin. So let's start. So let's make a new composition. Let's name the composition. I'm going to keep the resolution 1920 is to 1080 and the frame rate of 30 FPS. Press OK to create. And after that, we're going to add a solid layer over here. Go to new, create a solid. I'm going to change the background to black. Let's name it sky. Let's lock this layer. And after that, we're going to create another solid layer. Let's name it this time the trail BG. And let's tick it. And we are going to increase the resolution slightly greater than 1920s to 1080s, which is the full resolution. We are going to increase it very slightly. All right. Now we are going to apply an effect on this layer. Go to Effects and Presets panel. Type in Particle Playground. So we are going to apply this effect. So let's preview the animation to see how it looks in default settings. Now the direction is in the wrong direction. So under Canon in FX controls, we are going to change the settings of the direction. Let's give it minus 180. Now, now it's perfect. Let's decrease the randomness or let's keep it 20. Let's see. All right. Now under gravity, I would like to increase it a bit. Let's give it 180. All right. Now we're going to apply an expression on this direction random speed. Press and hold the Alt key and click on it to open the expressions panel. Now we're going to apply an wiggle expression. Wiggle to comma 20. So the frequency is 2 and the amplitude is 20. Let's check it. Now with this, you can get some nice wave looking animation like this. All right. So from here, we are going to start the animation. Let's just cut this layer till this point and we can start it from here. All right, now after that, we are going to animate the position. So let's put a keyframe on it. Press U to open the properties with keyframes. And then we are going to jump on to next 35 frames. And we are going to bring it down in Y axis. Let's Select all the keyframes, go to keyframe assistant and time reverse keyframes and let's check it. All right. Select the keyframes and start it from the start. All right. Now after that, we're going to select the keyframes. Easy is it? So press F9 for that and we are going to decrease the ease at this end a bit. Let's check it now. I think we can slow it down a bit. Let's jump on to next 40 frames. And we are going to move it till this point. So now we are going to jump on to somewhere around here and put a keyframe on particle per second and particle radius. I would also like to increase the per number of particles. Let's give it around 150. All right. So press U to open the properties with keyframes. And in both of these, we're going to give 0, 0. Just like this. Press F9 to convert the keyframe into is is. And then we're going to select this to keyframes and decrease the is a bit like this. And also let's give it one extra frame. Let's check it. All right, so after this point, this is going to be burst. 
So this is the trail of the firework and after it's going to burst. So we are going to apply a few more effects on this trail. Now let's select this layer, go to effects and presets, type in hue and we are going to apply this hue saturation. So we are going to change the colors, simply change the value of hue. Let's give it around 180. All right, we can even increase or decrease the saturation and lightness. I would like to keep it pretty much similar to this one. Okay, now after that, let's apply another effect, glow. And double click on it to apply and keep it in its default settings. So let's make a new composition. Let's name it Blust. I'm going to change the background color to black and keep the other resolution as 1920 is to 1080 and a frame rate of 30. Press OK. Let's add a solid layer of a black color and we are going to Keep the resolution something similar to the trail which is this one by default it takes press ok to apply now we're going to apply an effect on this layer but before that let's change the name of this solid layer let's name it plus effect select this layer and type in cc particle and we are going to apply this cc particle system too now by default it is going to look something like this so we are going to apply a few settings over here let's jump into the physics give the gravity a zero let's decrease the velocity a bit let's give it 0 0.6 now let's check it all right let's increase the longevity a bit And after that, we are going to give the birth rate, let's give it around 25. Well, it's too much, let's give it 20. All right, let's put a keyframe on birth rate. And then we're going to jump on to next four frame. Press U to open the properties with keyframe and we are going to give it complete zero let's check it now now you can see a blust effect like this now we can easily use the keyframe and we can simply decrease the ease at this end a bit all right now after that we are going to decrease the resistance. You can see over here it is crossing the boundary of the window. So let's just increase it a bit. Let's give it around 15. Maybe we can give it around uh, 11 or 12. All right, now after that, we are going to apply a few more effects on this layer. Now let's add, let's go to the firework, select the trail background, and we are going to simply copy the hue saturation and hue glow, simply control C to copy and paste it on this layer. Let's check it. So the directly the effect has been applied. And you can see it, but we are going to slightly change the settings a bit. Let's change the saturation a bit. Maybe give it slight light colored, something like this. All right. Now, after that, we are going to simply duplicate this layer once again. And we are going to change the settings of resistance. Let's to make it a bit smaller, let's give it 30. 
maybe you can start it from this point and end it at the same time. Now we are going to change the color a bit, not the color, maybe we can slightly lighten it up and maybe change the saturation a bit. I think we can decrease the resistance even more or increase it even more. And also I would like to change the birth size. Let's increase it. Let's give it around 60. Now let's check it. Yeah, now it's looking better. I think we can decrease the longevity as well. Let's give it 6. Alright, this one is looking even better. Now we are going to duplicate this layer 1, put it above. We are going to name it star. Now we are going to select this layer, go inside the particle system in particles. We are going to change it to star. Alright. This is not going to be this big, so we are going to decrease it. Let's give it 0 0.05. And let's even decrease the death size as well. Now let's increase it a bit. All right. Now we are going to change the saturation value for this star. Let's increase or decrease the saturation to give it even lighter and also give the lightness a bit. All right. Now after that, our firework is ready. Now we're simply going to put it in the scene. So we are basically going to put it somewhere around here. The point it is touching the midpoint or near to midpoint. We're going to place it over here. Let's check out the animation. Alright, I think we can change the colors a bit, maybe the hue, value and saturation so that it slightly matches. Alright, so this is how you can animate a firework in After Effects. So I would highly recommend you to try it on your own and do let me know if you have any doubt regarding this lesson. So that is it for this lesson. If you liked it, then make sure to hit the like button. If you have any doubt regarding the lesson, make sure to comment down. I would be happy to help you out. And if you're here for the first time, make sure to subscribe the channel and hit the bell notification button to stay notified for all the future updates. Until then, goodbye.